This video will explain the rationale behind some of the changes in School Loop and what we've gained as, as teachers in the district with this new tool. So the big change is the addition in School Loop of classrooms. This is the view students see by default instead of a teacher's website, a web page that came in School Loop. Now it's something called classrooms. And uh, there's a uniform view. It's a little more streamlined. I think it gives the information students need to see uh, in a very efficient, quick manner. But uh, more importantly, this allows us to quickly share uh, lessons between teachers across the district. And uh, let me go ahead and show this to you now. So if I click on classes up here in the teacher portal page, it'll allow me to choose from, choose from my various classes. I'm going to choose one now. And this is the exact same stu view that uh, students would see. And you can see here on the left uh, today's board, which shows today's assignment. And if you enter your lessons this way, you can also uh, show which unit this is a part of. That could be helpful to students, but you don't have to do that as a teacher. On the right, you see uh, we have a bulletin board over here that shows you uh, that would show the student that, in that manner in that case uh, that would show students uh, information that you would want to stay up there for a period of time, be it a week, a uh, month, a unit, whatever you wanted to do. Now, the real benefit, though, as mentioned earlier of having this view beyond just being a little bit more streamlined is the ability to share uh, content curriculum between teachers in the district. So if I click on that edit button there uh, next to where it showed the uh, curriculum for students, it shows all the curriculum I currently have. And this is just some demo account information, but imagine this was all of the lessons or assignments I'd entered in uh, for a class uh, last year. And now it's easy to publish this information year over year. I can just go over here and select, okay, it's unit 20 again. And I can uh, change the dates on this assignment to this lesson and this assignment. I can just hit edit and uh, change uh, the information associated and publish that. And uh, I can reuse it the next year. So it's much easier instead of recreating all the text that goes into this and the links, I can just reuse my content year over year with subtle changes if I like. And on that note, uh, I can also look at content and curriculum that's been created district-wide by their teachers, by the RCD teams. Uh, I'll click on Algebra here. And to if, you, if I were to find something that I really liked, I can simply just click on the whole unit or I can click on just sub-assignments within that unit. Either way, just click on all of these, and I can click import, and those uh, that, that curriculum, those lessons, all of those assignments, the instructions, would all be now copied to my curriculum here, which I can choose now to manipulate it, edit it, manage it, publish it, and uh, district-wide, we really have this opportunity to share our ideas uh, right here in School Loop, all of our, our lessons and content and units.